as we can. Good morning, Norman with Tyson Balding. Bare Bones Broadcasting. <coughs> Getting messed with, as usual. Now then, I wanted to discuss something with you. Previous broadcast, what I'm reminding you of <coughs> is this attack on official is dumb. And it's the living style causing the problem, not official, even though, let me remind you, you have pus pockets. Pockets of vulnerable that position seekers occupy in your structure of how to live with yourselves in a society. And that the citizen has to fix in their mind and how they are the... <coughs> polling agent, they're not voters, they're polling agents, mark their contribution to a conversation. <coughs> and the poll is this has something to do with reflecting a conversation that the citizens have among themselves from the comprehensions in their mind. Period. And from that, you structure living somewhat. Well, it's your living style every day that structures living. It has nothing to do with the logistic system at all. Humans keep themselves structured in the conversations they have in each home. And they keep it extremely mutual. And it does seep like water at its own level. Yes, it does. Very much it does. You are mammals. It seeks its own level when you're honest with yourselves about what you're doing and what you are and what you're experiencing. Oh, yeah, it does. I know all about that. And that's my reminding of that. Psychology and the psychology of things and the psychology and the psychologist of it and how you authoritate your mind and discipline it with that, with the psychological reasoning. And you are all much more capable than any one comes from higher education with it, that is for sure. Because the, the Council of Psychological Reasoning with this planet right now and everything professional and official has really got a problem. Huge one. It doesn't know what the hell it's doing. And these people are occupying positions. I'm going to get to Attorney General, and I tore into Mark Kroger. This is a very official position, and I want to remind you of something. It is only there because the citizens fail. And these little pockets of vulnerable and opportunity are set up with these people in their mind because they keep you failing. No, not by these pockets of vulnerable, by how they just witness and living and convince you that they are correct and how they disposition themselves about all kinds of things. It goes off and considers itself a big man with a system of sewer in the prison system in Oregon, he is not a big man. I mean, it's part of the picturing that keeps it going. And it's psychological. It's the way this man thinks psychologically. And that's his position. The position of Attorney General, he's the greatest psychologist on the planet. Yep. And he holds the position to influence living that way and take up for the welfare of the community. And doesn't prosecute to do that. The way to maintain the welfare of the community is not with through prosecution. To cause a deterrent system is not the maintenance of the welfare of the community. It's nothing to do with it, and damn few require it. Most humans don't require deterrent. They don't. They'll reason far superior to it. Instinctively. And whatever psychologist tells you that most people need a deterrent is horse puck. That deters what you want the motive going on in their mind to be. When humans have to refer to deterrent to motivate themselves in any kind of structure, let me tell you something, you are putting them on the bottom of the barrel and assuming they are something pretty cheap, and they're not. They're adorable, very mutual, kind, wonderful thing. Do you understand me? <laughs> Without them, everything's a blur. Eh, you're blurry. Well, now I'll focus in on you. Do you understand me? You are priceless and adorable. Live up. You like fun and you don't hurt someone to get it. And you don't do don'ts. I'll tell you what you do do. You consider their feelings in all aspects and their want and desire to have fun in every aspect before you punch them. And you knock them out. Cold. Quickly, and you don't punch them around first. 
Got it. You don't have to tenderize someone to knock them down, dummy. It's the timing and where you strike them causes them to fall, dummy. You punch your meat to death first and then eat it. You are an idiot. Slit its throat. Cause it to laugh. Have you ever fought with the devil? Have you? A lot of you think you do. Well, what beats the devil? Dummy! What is the devil a sucker for? Charm. Not the devil's charm. No, they ain't got no charm. Yours. Do you have charm? Display it. To pander someone? Hell no. In your wit of thinking. That will display your charm. It's a reflection. It's not something you do. What you do is the wit of thinking and reasoning. And you display that living in conversation and reflect that priority of understanding. That reflects a glow unknown to mankind. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Do it! Let's glow! Because that's what humans do. This planet outshines any star it ever gets near. What a bet! This thing puts off more shine than any star knows a damn thing about. Night and day. In daylight, out of daylight, in starlight, out of starlight. This baby shines. What a bet. In here, in the cosmos. Well, she's kind of not shining now. And she has shine, lad. Can you imagine the pyramids covered with white limestone, laddie? You think they shine? Well, don't picture them any other way. I'll always picture the pyramids in sunlight and white limestone. No other way. Whew. Now you picture the pyramid. And there's a whole bunch more about that pyramid than anyone knows, especially in how they structured it and did it and everything. Marvelous story about Egypt. And how in the hell would anybody want to run out of there? you got to be a moron. <laughs>